obviously one of the things about this that's interesting slash frightening is that Google is sort of inserting itself in between uh, the viewer and the broadcaster, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so I think probably maybe, maybe insert, in, inserting is actually a good word. Um, we, as I said, we're watching a, a skybox. It could be Freeview, it yeah. could, be, could be Virgin. Um, what I've done here is I've set the Google TV up so that it can overlay um, on top of what I'm doing on my skybox. Um, and provide right. services from third parties direct to the TV screen. So there are, I suppose there are a couple of things that are worth pointing out here. First of all is obviously the, the relationship between Google um, and the set-top box in the home, the fact that they can be experienced on the same screen, the fact that they can be controlled from the same remote control. I, I, I can control the, the Sky EPG from here as well as the Google EPG. I, I, don't, I don't need to use this So anymore. no future need for a Megatron. It's no Megatrons in, in my future, no. Right. Um, just, uh, the, the, I suppose the second thing is the fact that because it's uh, a Google box, um, you're bringing your Google search data, your kind of your, that kind of Google data into the TV environment. Um, the third is, is your so, billable. So bond. everything you've searched for on Google, it will sort of remember and suggest other pornography you might like. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah.